So what we have is a bath of ice water here and we have a little bit of water in the bottom of this barrel. So what we're doing is heating the water and that water is boiling, changing state from liquid to vapor. That vapor though is taking up space. And as we heat that up, it's expanding, the gas is expanding and it's literally pushing those molecules out, which is what we can see here. That's water is actually condensing as it's coming out, but we're physically pushing out those molecules. Right now, the atmospheric pressure on us is 13.6 PSI atmospheric. So that's our pressure that we have exerting on us right now. The pressure inside of here is being increased and it's pushing out. So what we're gonna do is seal this off and then we're gonna dump it into the water and see what happens when we have a temperature and pressure change. So what we see is not vacuum pulling it in, it's the atmospheric pressure that's forcing the can to crush. It's the pressure difference. So with the temperature increased, the pressure increased, but it had a way to escape. But as we drop the temperature, we drop the pressure. So there's a pressure difference. The pressure outside of the container is much greater than the pressure inside. And so it literally crushes the container. So again, don't think of vacuum as a thing. Vacuum is not a thing. Vacuum is a pressure difference. Atmospheric pressure, that atmospheric pressure we have right now, 13.67 PSIA. So 13.67 pounds for every square inch on this barrel is causing that barrel to crush down. Atmospheric pressure and vacuum, pressure difference. Powerful thing. So boiling that water into a vapor, the vapor has now filled up that entire barrel. So the molecules are moving very, very quickly and the molecules are spread far apart. Now as we drop that tank into that cool water, the heat transfers the opposite direction. Now the heat's energy is leaving those water molecules through the metal drum to the cooler water on the other side. As the molecules move slower and slower, they start to condense, and it condenses from a vapor back into a liquid. It's below its dew point temperature. So as it condenses, now we have a huge void. The temperature's dropping, the pressure's dropping, the pressure in the barrel significantly drops. Now the atmospheric pressure stays the same, but that atmospheric pressure is much greater than that void inside, so the atmospheric pressure crushes that barrel, or a vacuum. What's important to remember here is that the vacuum is not sucking the barrel in. It's actually the atmospheric pressure pushing and crushing that barrel. For every square inch of atmospheric pressure is absolutely crushing that barrel. And it's very, very powerful. It's amazing how powerful it is. But a lot of people want to think that the vacuum's sucking, but in reality, it's just a pressure difference. So by dropping the temperature and the pressure inside that barrel, the atmospheric pressure takes over and just crushes it. And I think it's really impressive.